Hey guys, Hidden Abilities here, and welcome back to another episode of how to make a website, or web programming tutorial, basic. <laughs> now, we'll actually kind of be designing a little, a basic, uh, oh yeah, that's right, we're going to do the links too. And along with doing that, we'll, we'll be designing basic stuff. Like, okay, so go to a link, or we'll just type it in, back to your CSS file. Now you want to do... If you want to change the color, you would simply do color. Let's make the links. Uh, what goes good with so, number sign? Let's just do 4444. Four, four, four. Or no, eh, a bunch of fours. Three fours. Be fine. Now, font decoration. Uh, text decoration. I'm sorry. Text decoration, none. Font weight, bold. That's just this, you know, you can kind of design how your links look. Now, uh, end that off. Let's test it out. I mean, this will be a, a visited link, though, so it's still going to be purple. So copy that. You would do a hover. Well, paste it and just rename it to hover. Um, a hover, and then text decoration underline. You can also do strike through, I believe. Now, a active, well, a visited first. So, a visited, that means if you visited before. Same thing as that. A active, just keep it like that, the same. So, here we go. Let's try this out. There you go. It underlines itself. Uh, we need to make it a little brighter, though. So, 777. Let's copy that. Go ahead and paste it. Oh, and um, if you're using Linux, no fears. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't figured this out already, let's go a little darker. If you haven't figured this out already, um, Notepad++ should run well in Wine. It's a pretty nice little uh, thing. So, anyway, we're going to change the links. Instead of saying my link one, we're going to go say home, and we're going to make multiple web pages. So, na simply name the href or the area it goes to. Replace it with index.html. We're using yeah okay we're using htm not html. Okay, you you can use either extension htm or html. They both are the same pretty much. Just the one's a little shorter. A href. <laughs> equals uh, about.htm we're gonna make the about thing and how we're gonna do this is go to file save as and then do about about.htm now oops now we have to reopen index <laughs> that's in our tab over here index about and style there we go so save that <coughs> test this out yeah, we didn't do about yet. <laughs> Oops. About. And then end it off the link. There you go. Home, about, and here's the about page, but it doesn't have anything in it yet. And <laughs> this is all glitched because of our little error we made. And so anyway, fix that up. And about, let's just add like a little description. So underneath your, um, underneath your header, to make a description, just put a P, a paragraph, about my website. Information would go here. So I said, okay, so you got you got your index and you got your about. Um, home, home is why. No, nah, I'm not gonna quote that because it could be copyright. <laughs> so anyway, P. Welcome to my website. Um, it, you can decide whatever you want to put here. So, whatever goes here will be here. I guess I can't think of anything to put, so I'll just type something random. See, you got different things. Um, images, whatever you know. I'll we'll make it just images tab. But um, anyway, now that we change the links, I'll go over tables, which are never really used anymore. But you know, I guess you, if you if you do need them, I'll explain them. 
SBR. Two brakes, I guess. Table. Now, table, TR, I'll explain it. A table is, uh, well, here, I'll show you. My table. You would end them off just as that. And, as you can see, it doesn't have a border or anything like that, but you can add, okay, another TD, dimension. I spelled that horribly wrong, but, you know. <laughs> see, you can add table and table dimensions, so you can add CSS to this by simply typing style equals, and then in between quotes, border, solid, one pixel, black. For example, and that should give it a border. Yes. TD, uh, the second TD, um, or you know, instead of doing this, let's just let's just uh, change the styles with CSS. <coughs> but tables, you can make dimensions and all kinds of good stuff. Table, TD, TR, make it grouped like that. Um, color, text color in it is black, I guess. Font weight. Make it bold. Mm, border, solid, one pixel, black. All right, save that. Now let's reload this. As you can see, the dimensions. You got. This is good for stuff like. Hang on, let me show you an example. Like um, scores. You know, well, it's good for graphs and stuff, I guess. Team. That's kind of reverse, but yeah. TR, TD. 20 points for team one. It's really confusing to lay this out, though, sometimes. Uh, home team. Whatever, you know. TR, TD. Wait, second TR. Sorry. See, it's kind of really confusing to lay these out correctly. 25. Now let's just test that out. See, you got scores. That's how you lay these out. But um, it is, like I said, it can get extremely confusing and really sloppy in code. Oops. Hello, screen recorder. <laughs> I do that a lot for some reason. I don't know how that happened. But regardless, yeah, this that's that's that would be tables and how you use them. Let me show you let me I guess I'll use this uh, as a chance to show you the other type of uh borders. Dotted. See how they're dotted? Yeah. You can do I think it's called dashed, I can't remember. Yep, it's dashed. You can use dashed. You can use double borders too. Um, double. I think no, it's not called. Yeah, it is. It's double. It kind of doubles the border up. This makes it look a little different. Okay, so we can just do the TR and get rid of TD, and that would make it like one giant thing. You know, you can really design your tables to look pretty all right, really. You can have a set custom width. Width. Well, let's do a table dimension width instead. So, TD stands for table dimension. TR stands for table row. Width. Eh, make it about at least 50. And that kind of makes it, yeah, however wide you want it to be. And the table rows. Let's make that. Eh, let's make everything. I think you can kind of do this too, just for the table rows. What? 50. Oops. No, it has to be all grouped. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work out too well. No, it didn't. So. That still works. <laughs> TD. TR, each of them 50. Okay. Did I save that? 
Dang it, I keep doing that. Yeah. Alright, so I guess now we'll just start designing something. And that's pretty much, this covers basic HTML, basic web design. Uh, there is more things, but... Hmm. Dude, I am out of ideas now. I mean, I've pretty much explained every basic thing to get started. But I guess I'll just continue. I just have no idea what to continue. I guess I can make new tutorials on uh, animation, CSS3, and HTML5. Well, I may do that one day. But until then... Until then, that explains how to make a basic website. Uh, I know this tutorial was quite unprofessional, and I apologize for that. It's my first set of tutorials that I've done in ages. And, uh, but I hope I hope you found it useful, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys with the next tutorial. Be sure to check out the How to Make a Game tutorial if you're interested, and peace.